Today, we're here to talk a bit about consent. But first, let's talk about shave ice. It's a delicious dessert that's popular here in the islands. It's ice shavings piled high on a cone or cup and topped with colorful flavors. So again, we're here to talk about consent and how it's more like shave ice than you might expect. Consent is simple, and it only gets simpler if instead of initiating sex, you imagine you're asking someone if they want shave ice. There are a few different ways this could go. You say, hey, would you like some shave ice? And they say, yes then you make them shave ice. And they have shave ice, and that's the end of that. If you say, hey, would you like some shave ice? And they say, I don't know how I feel about shave ice right now, I just ate a whole mixed plate. Then you could still make them shave ice, but just realize they might not want it. That might be annoying, but you wouldn't force them to eat it by stuffing the cone in their face because they won't like that because no one likes that. Just because you shave the ice and drew a big heart of strawberry red syrup on top doesn't mean you make them eat it. They might say, yes, please. Then you make it for them, but they don't want it anymore. Yeah, they said yes, but things change in the time it takes to shave the ice, add the syrup, and make it real special by sprinkling on the leaking powder. Now they just don't want shave ice. People can and do change their minds, and they're not obligated to eat the shave ice. That's completely fine, just don't make them eat the shave ice. If someone said yes to shave ice once before, it doesn't mean they want shave ice all the time, and if you show up at their house at 3 in the morning with a fresh cone and you say, do you wanted shave ice yesterday? That would make no sense. Sure, they said yes yesterday, but one yes doesn't signal you to be shave ice of the week club to anybody. Nothing entitles you to make them eat the shave ice. Maybe they said yes, but by the time you got the shave ice ready, they are unconscious. Or they could even have started eating the shave ice, but passed out. Don't feed them the shave ice. Trust me, unconscious people don't want shave ice. But it's melting, you say. No, put the shave ice in the freezer. Just think about it. If you were the unconscious one, you would not want someone to force feed you with shave ice. Again, if they're unconscious, make sure they are safe and don't feed them shave ice. And if they say no thank you to your shave ice, then don't make them any shave ice. None. And don't make them feel bad about it because it's just shave ice and they just happen to not want it. And there's nothing wrong with that. Now replace make them shave ice with have sex with them. Remember how simple it was to understand consent with shave ice because it's just that simple. Whether it's shave ice or sex, consent is everything. And if you're ever confused, just talk it out. Ask, listen, and most importantly, communicate until you get clear consent. Bottom line, no one likes to be forced to do anything, even if it's just eating a little rainbow snow cone, and definitely when it's sex. That said, does anyone want shave ice?